Um, I'm not an author of the PPR protocol, I'm just the latest in its custodians, and when I read the protocol for the first time, I thought to myself, wow, this encapsulates everything that the young engineer could, could obtain from the wisdom of the engineers in the past. And it's, it's very succinct and precise. On, on two pages of, of one sheet of paper, it tells uh, young engineers everything that, that's needed for excellence in professional performance. The motivation for the creation of the PPIR protocol and related products was a recognition by leaders and experts in the engineering industry that escalating litigation risk and professional indemnity insurance together were emasculating innovation in Australian engineering practice. That brings us here tonight, some 13 or so years after conception. There's more than meets the eye to the statement of rules, guidelines, uh, values of good practice yeah, in professional practice. What I saw in particular was largely borrowed in all cases from aviation and that is the need to be highly self-conscious about the step-by-step -step process to what might be called an analytical uh, understanding of the task you're carrying out. The process of going over the terms of this protocol uh, have been a really good example in themselves of the benefits that obtained from having many more than one brain, more than one pair of eyes, look at expressions from the point of view of the benefits they may bring. I think the fact that the trade-off has been conducted so explicitly and uh, with so much consultation has been a very good thing. 